How's it going guys? Yomitash here back with another video and there's a few things we need to discuss today so consider this like an update video and so one is Sorik has decided to stop developing the uh, A12 jailbreaking that many of us have been wanting to see but uh, he does have a few concerns and I think those are concerns that should concern us as well and uh yeah the jailbreak community is pretty toxic which is really not nice and it has basically pushed Sorik to uh stop developing things for jailbreak and like he said in his tweet which i'll leave in the description he says jailbreak should have died at ios 9 and considering ios 9 was this first semi on third jailbreak it's very likely that it probably should have died at ios 9 so he talks about the uh, shady uh, methods that developers are using in now just to try and get stuff to work and how he's actually researching so yeah uh Sorik was actually doing a lot of work for the community i mean he did it during his free time he also has a full-time job so yeah we need to pay some respect also other developers as well i mean i know some of them aren't the best though i mean i could name one who i don't quite like uh his character developer but then again they're also helping the community so i feel like us as a community the jailbreak community should definitely help this guys out and support them and actually uh be friendly with everyone there's no need to hate in the jailbreak community to be fair there's no need to push people i mean people actually doing it for free at least for the most part if you're not buying a tweak but then yeah the actual jailbreak itself is done for free so you should actually um be nice to these guys be nice to the developers because they're doing a huge deal for all of us out here who aren't going to take our time to actually learn how to uh, jailbreak something or research into jailbreaking our own devices ourselves but nonetheless i've still got a few tweaks to show you guys today and uh, first of all, I'll let you know that I did change the battery in my iPhone SE. So this is the uh, old battery and uh, I got a new battery. This was about 81% in the battery health in the settings. And uh, it was making my phone slow. My phone will shut down at like 20% and it would just randomly like slow down and turn off. It was getting frustrating. I'd always disable the uh, slow down, but I don't think it give me all the performance I want but after changing the battery you guys cannot imagine the speed of this A9 processor it's actually really good I mean you would think oh it's what like four years old now I've got to say the A9 and this iPhone SE is still pushing its weight it's still pulling its weight but yeah let's get to the tweaks the first one I've got for you is Snapper 2 and this one is ingenious so Snapper 2 basically allows you to uh, take a screenshot and with the screenshot you can just crop right there I mean we do have like the iOS 12 thing that allows you to kind of like crop but then this one allows you to go even into finer detail and you're still on your screen and also when you double tap to confirm it your screenshot is right there can you see it because I can see it so your screenshot is right there you can kind of like just move it around you can put it into photos if you want or you can dismiss it and I think let's see more allows you to share it so you can just go ahead put it into photos and uh, save it or you can just dismiss it and I think that interface is so cool kudos to this developer I'll make sure to leave his name on the video the next one is called jump skip and uh, if you're playing music and you kind of want to skip your music without having to pick up your phone so yeah I have uh, Rory here pretty good artist and uh, if I go volume down volume up I can skip to the next song if you're watching that closely volume down volume up and volume up volume down would also go to the previous song this is ingenious i think there's a couple more things you can do with this give me a second let me check so yeah i just checked and uh yes there are a bunch of things you can do apart from what i mentioned so you can rewind and you can also fast forward which is really cool but I don't see how it allows you to really like take down your volume. I guess you can still tap on it, but it kind of interferes with that. So if you just like your volume buttons being volume buttons, you probably want to stay away from this tweak, but definitely still a good tweak. The next one is called Glitch Pods, and it's supposed to give you like this glitch effect for your AirPods, but just haven't been able to get it to work. But yeah, uh, definitely check out Glitch Pods. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have like a short video right here so you can have a uh, look at what it looks like. Have a look at what it looks like. But yeah, that is uh, Glitch Pods. The next one is called Renover. Renover, I think that's how you pronounce it anyways. So I'll just close out CD and open CD again so you guys can see what Renover is. And uh, it's basically like a redesign, kind of like what I reviewed two weeks ago. And uh, it's kind of like re but like a slightly more polished re uh, 2. 
and uh, you get this home page as well but this one actually shows you stuff from the subreddit which is literally where all the information on jailbreak is if you have any information make sure you check the jailbreak subreddit uh, so lots of people who are gonna help you if you have any uh, troubles with jailbreaking but definitely try not to be toxic on there because it's already toxic enough but yeah if you go to the more tab down here which was previously search you can find your search again and then you can also search the actual subreddit which is really cool so yeah it opens right into the subreddit so the next one is called no arrows and uh if you ever got frustrated about the arrows that you see in table views in ios so such as in settings you usually have like an arrow to tell you oh there's something on the right side but yeah if you don't like the arrows you can check out this tweak called no arrows pretty cool tweak the next one is called chromogram and i really like chromogram it gives you like this really really nice dark mode for instagram and and uh, it's pure black so if you have an iPhone 10 you can definitely take advantage of uh, the uh, uh, OLED display on that and this might be the last video that you're gonna be seeing this iPhone SE on jailbreak Wednesdays which is technically now a Wednesday today and uh, well yeah last video for the iPhone SE so let's uh, throw him a, a moment of silence maybe there there so yeah, the next one is called Auto Invert and uh, this tweak is kind of like a hit or miss for me. So it's sort of like your solution to dark mode such that when you're in the dark, your phone actually changes into dark mode and when you're in light, it kind of like switches back to regular mode. But yeah, uh, one thing you can do is reduce the brightness of your screen, but also there's also auto brightness. So if I cover the top of my screen, it's also gonna change soon enough. But I'll just show you what it does when I reduce the brightness of my screen. I set the threshold to 25%. And as you might have been able to guess, it basically uh, turns on smart invert once your phone reaches, or once your phone goes below a set screen brightness percentage, which you, which you can change in the settings of the uh, tweak but yeah it does it goes ahead and does like a smart invert which is pretty cool but then it doesn't quite work in like apps like this for example because it already had chromogram on it so it now becomes white so it defeats the purpose but um if you're a fan of smart invert or you're a fan of like what it's doing definitely check that out i'm just going to raise my brightness back to yeah so you can see it's pretty seamless it does take a while especially if you bring your phone out of your pocket it does take a while for it to switch and then turn on your display because it likes to switch before turning on your display but yeah it slows down your lock time so uh see to that as you will but definitely check it out and the last one is for you guys who use chrome i actually don't use chrome because uh, i use uh, safari on my laptop as well and i like the continuity bit of it so yeah if you do use chrome you can get dark mode for chrome and uh yeah it looks like dark mode i mean i'm pretty sure you can i mean this is definitely a better implementation than using like eclipse or like noctis but yeah so definitely check this out if you use chrome and you're looking for a dark mode for chrome but yeah that's it for this video uh like i said you probably won't see this phone again on jailbreak wednesday it's a surprise so i'm not going to tell you what's going on and make sure to like this video and hopefully i see you guys in the next one peace